Welcome back to the program. Some breaking news tonight about the mess that is healthcare.gov. The Washington Post reporting now that government officials and contractors tested a key part of the site just days before the launch. It crashed during a, a simulation when just a few hundred people tried to log on at the same time. Still, the launch went on as scheduled, and we know what happened then. It's been riddled with problems, making it very challenging for people to log on. The White House is not saying how many people have actually been able to sign up, but today the president made it clear he is well aware of the problem. The problem has been that the website that's supposed to make it easy to apply for and purchase the insurance is not working the way it should for everybody. And there's no sugarcoating it. The website has been too slow. People have been getting stuck during the application process. And I think it's fair to say that nobody's more frustrated by that than I am. Well, back with the panel, Andrew Sullivan, Gloria Borger, CNN Political Co New York Times op-ed columnist Charles Blows joining us at the table, and the fifth chair, Matt Kibbe of uh, Freedom Works. Matt, obviously you are opposed to Obamacare in all its forms. Um, to you, is, is the website a surprise that it's not working? I'm actually shocked that, it, that it's so dysfunctional. It's almost like a caricature that we would have designed to prove <laughs> just how bad <laughs> government can be. And it's not, I mean, I, I think it's not just a small case of failure. I think it's a fundamental case of failure. There's this interesting report from the Sunlight Foundation that looks at the contractors, all of whom are right. legacy contractors. Many contractors. Yeah, many involved. contractors. But they're, but they're, Booz Allen, who brought us Ed Snowden. Yeah, yeah. All, all, this, all this fabulous stuff. And there's a lot of political contractors. Contributions. There's, a, there's millions and millions of dollars of lobbying.